Well, hello to my YouTube friends out there. I'm back. And for those of you that are new, feel free to hit that subscription button and notification button if you like. I'm back again. Yes, I am. And I'm telling you, I love talking with you guys. Is This is just such a good outlet for me to make videos. So I want to get on here and do a little chit chat. Tell you how my day went. I did one earlier, so now I'm back. And plus, I want to do a little shout out. So sit back, have something comfortable to drink, eat, because this might be a little lengthy, but not too lengthy. But just kind of relax with me. I appreciate that. Okay. So I went out to visit my mom. And at the facility where my mom is, it's such a beautiful place. And so what they're doing now, they're been doing some remodeling and putting new floors in and uh, doing a lot of things. I wish you guys can see the facility, but it's very, very nice where my mother is. It's a skilled nursing slash rehabilitation hospital. And I've always worked in healthcare, um, helping people. I worked as a uh, nurse back in the day, uh, and I also always did activities for the patients. And my job at my last job, where I retired from, I was a recreational therapist in a psychiatric, acute psychiatric. So I did that for many, many years. And so, you know, being around patients and, you know, helping people, that's what God gifted me to do. And that's what he gifted me to do, is help people. Pretty much all my life. And so when the Lord said, you're done. He put that on my heart and said, you're done when I retired. And I retired young, and it wasn't my time. But God said it was. I'm going to just tell you all this little story. Okay, my drive to work from where I live is was 57 miles going and coming. Um, sometime I would work on Saturdays, but I did a lot of driving on the road. And I cried this morning. I was thinking about it. I said, Lord, you are so worthy to be praised because I have seen so many people die coming over our Altamont Pass that we have here in Stockton, California, where you ride over and come down. People have went over and never made it. I've seen cars on fire. I've seen cars where... The Lord has stopped, actually stopped people from coming in front of me. The angels came down on me. Now, one thing, I'm going to tell you all this little story, and then I'm going to get into what I purchased today. And it just makes me cry because I know where I came from, and I know what God has brought me. I fell asleep driving. And... On the freeway there, you know, I'm going straight. I was tired that night, that evening when I was getting off. It was late, you know, in the, you know, time change. It was at nighttime, and I was really, really exhausted. Everybody in my department were gone home. Everybody in my department didn't drive as far as I did. I was the only one that commuted. So, when you're on the freeway, on the other side of the freeway, there's cars going on the opposite direction. And I tell you guys, I went to sleep. And when I got off at my exit, I was at the stop. And my foot was on the brake. And I had my hands up above on off the steering wheel. And I was shaking like a leaf on a tree because I knew I was asleep. I could not figure out for the life of me at that point how I got there. And when I finally, you know how you just thinking it finally dawned in on me? God saved my life it was not my time because I could have went on the other side of the dividers and them other cars could have came and killed me instantly but it was not my time to go and I think about the distance that I did for well you might have said it was 29 years 30 years it would have been 30 years been on the freeway driving that far there's people who have moved here and couldn't last and keep their homes here because the homes here are so much reasonable than in the Bay Area. They're so expensive. People can't afford to live in the in you know uh, the Bay Area, so they will move down here. 
and uh, they only would keep their house less than five, four, three years, two years. They couldn't do the drive because they're going to drive farther because they made more money when you drive to the bay than you live in the valley. So that's why people always wanted to drive, but they can't last to drive. God spared me to drive all those years. So let me say this. I can, I can go on and on and on. One night I was driving. I tell everybody this story. I even preached, well not preached, but I tested my testimony. <laughs> this is me preaching, okay? Testimony on my experiences when God has worked with me. And I was coming over the Altamont and it was on an evening. The sun was down and I can look over the Altamont when I'm coming up over the Altamont Pass. And I was like, Lord, I'm tired. Yeah, my body was, I was getting tired. I love to drive, but my body was getting like exhausted, tired. And God, and I look, and I was looking towards the sky. And it was a beautiful evening that night. And he said, you're done. And he put it on my heart and said, you're done. And I would hear nursing staff and people around the hospital, you know, had bad experiences with their retirement. They weren't getting their checks on time. They were worried about this. They were worried about that. And I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I never said anything because I would just listen. See, a lot of times I just don't talk. I just listen. It's good to always listen. And when it was time for me to go for my, me and my husband went to the seminar. And I spoke up quite a bit. And when I went in the bathroom, there was other ladies talking. They said, boy, you ready, huh? I said, yes, I am. God has revealed for me to be ready. And when I was off work and I retired, now check this out. Now, I didn't plan this, but this is how it worked. James was home. I retired on my son's birthday. It was March the 30th. That was my retirement date. I went out in April because when you go out in April, then you get, you know, the cost of living raises that everybody else gets for the county. I worked for the county. Everybody get, you know, all that. So I learned all that when I went to the seminar. I learned all my benefits, everything. So when it was time for me to sign the paperwork, I signed the paperwork. I did all of that. And I, I was afraid. But then again, I was ready because God revealed it to me to be ready. And everything fell into place. I wasn't behind in my bills. I was able to pay everything. I was able to catch up with everything. And God made that happen for me. And I know it. Oh my God. So James was home. He was home because he had lived in Nebraska. And my son had a troubled life, you know, in and out of institutions, you know, jail and getting himself in some problems. But, you know, young people do that when they're trying to get on the right track. But my baby came home. He was home for my retirement. He was home for his uh, coming party when we had gave him here for coming home. Beautiful parties we had planned. My husband had did a beautiful retirement party for me. Everything was in purple and white. I had a Michael Kors purse as a cake. Everything was just beautiful. I mean, such a blessing. My son was here for his baby um, reveal. It was here in my backyard. Um, he was here for his wedding um, proposal to Jen. He was here for his baby shower. He was here for everything beautiful for the whole year that he was home and that was the most beautiful year he and he was able to see me retire he didn't think i was gonna do it because you know i love to work so he was like mom you ain't going away you know he get in his room back there he'd be like oh mom you ain't going away i said boy watch me i'm gonna retire and when i did he was so proud and i miss him so much and i'm gonna have to tell y'all that other story about God gave me a vision and let me see my baby go to heaven. I saw that. So anyway, let's, I'll get into that in another video. But yeah, you guys got to know about that because it is absolutely true. It's amazing. Me and my mother talked about it because my mother have seen it when God wasn't ready for her. But yeah, she had her moment there too. So 
Anyway, let me get into this. I want to give a shout out for a lady that I found on YouTube a while back, a couple months ago. Matter of fact, I want you guys to go over and check her out. She needs some love over there. Her name is Cookies Color Blend. She's got a small channel like we have. For those of us have our small little channels that we like to get on. But I tell you one thing. She's good with makeup and she gives it straight to the point and I like the way she blend I love her technique and I want to learn how to cut crease I probably won't never learn because I was in Sephora today and I was talking to a young lady that worked there and she's in her like maybe mid-twenties her makeup was beautiful, but her lashes was covering up the makeup because they were too long. They were way out to here, and they were bushed up to here. And I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> you know, I love lashes, but not where it has to come way up here and way out. I mean, I think that's a little bit too much, but everybody got their own way. I probably want to wear them, so I just look at people and keep it moving. But her name is Cookies Colored Blend. Check her out. She can blend. She got the perfect name for her channel, um, and she's just good with doing her eyeshadows and just putting everything together. Her skincare is pretty good, and she got nice skin, too. So, that's another thing. So, let me show you guys what I got. I went to Sephora, and I went looking for, I want these watermelon, pat, uh, their pads, they hydrating pads for your eyes. I love using... You know things from my eyes and cooling to relax i go in my makeup room and i just put these things on my skin i don't like masks too much i would do the mask but not a lot like i do the eye stuff and i gear more towards eyes so yeah <laughs> i think your eyes is very important you know because that's your first thing that you see here is those eyes and then you know them you know dark circles you know it's kind of like you know i just like to play with my eyes more so I went to Sephora and I went to JC Penney's. That's where Sephora is. And I bought these pants right here. Yeah. And you can wear them with heels too. Which I probably won't. <laughs> when I see the heels, I'm like, oh yeah. But this is what they look like. And they stretch. Oh, I love these. And I ordered some shoes like this too, some slippers from this website called Wish. So check Wish out. They got some cute stuff. And I think that stuff comes from China. So it's going to take me a while before I get them. Anyway, um, the girl that works there, they always giving me stuff. They, they're advertising the Fenty. And this is the Instant Retouch Concealer, which I already have. And she gave me samples of the different concealers on here. I thought that was so sweet. I have like over 3,000 something points or more, maybe. And I just don't use them like that, you know. So she gave me, for my points and everything, she gave me a moisturizer. Um, this is the more, the oh, this is the banana moisturizer. Moisturizing cream, nice little size. And then she gave me the Sunday Riley. Hmm. Let me smell it. Oh, it smells really good. And Sunday Riley is a good product. Let me smell this banana one. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot on this. Oh, it's pretty creamy. Oh, wow. And I got one by Milk, too. But yeah, this is the banana one. It don't smell like banana though, but yeah, I got this one. So I got quite a few moisturizers to try. I got the milk one, I got this one in the Sunday Riley. Now, don't laugh at me, guys. I've been struggling with these eyebrows. Like, they're driving me, I don't want to say insane, but I just want my eyebrows to be right. <laughs> Nothing else. I need my eyebrows to be right. And I'm serious about that. I bought a... Well, I have the Elf one. I like that. I'm going to keep using that too. I'm just going to go back and forth. But I like Anastasia. I do. 
And I talked with the young lady about this, and she pretty much talked me into this one, okay? <laughs> I've had this one before, I think. It's been a while, but I have had it. Okay. I get in there, and I said, okay, let me try that. Let me get another one of these pistols here. It has a spoolie. They all have that. But right on here, it has that angle, see? See that angle right there? Yeah, they help guide me to do a little bit. Look, me and these eyebrows, we got to do some practicing. And with the cut crease, I'm interested and I'm not. It's kind of like, do I want to take the time up to do that? And like, oh, and I was telling you, the girl that worked there at um, Sephora, she don't know how to cut crease. She was like, no, nope. <laughs> I don't know how to cut. But one thing you can do, too, when you cut crease, you can cut crease in the center of your eye. You don't have to always cut crease in the crease. And I said, maybe I ought to try to center my eye and see how that works. Because for me to sit back and spend all that time cut creasing, I mean, really get in there and just really get in there. Just to put some eyeshadow there. I don't know. I rather, but you know, there's one product that I bought, and it's not. It's a base. It's by Morphe. It's white. It works really, really good. You all you need is a dab of it, but then to spread it out is kind of scary. <laughs> I know you guys think I'm good. But anyway, I'm going to end this video. I love you guys out there. Um, you know what to do. Leave your comments down below. You know I love my comments. God bless. And thank you so much for listening and watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.